with all of the leaks that came out centered around Xbox and their future plans for big titles like Elder Scrolls 6. People seem to be rather upset that this long-awaited entry in the Elder Scrolls series will not be making its way to their console. But let's break that all down. Up next. What up guys, this is KLO and I'm here to give you the lowdown in all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video and welcome to the Weekend XP Share. So, it's safe to say this week has been plagued with leaks, games, acquisitions, consoles, and everything else galore. But one thing above all else I wanted to kind of circle back to and chat about here on the Weekend XP Share is Elder Scrolls 6 and its matter of exclusivity. Now, I for one didn't take this announcement as much of a shock here. If you were keen on listening and just seeing how Phil Spencer laid things out through the Activision Blizzard trial, or even his breakdown of the original Bethesda merger, he made this crystal clear. If you haven't heard that bit, I'll play it right here so you can kind of see what he has to say. So I'm going to try to be as clear as I can, because uh, I, I, that's what I, I, I just think it's fair. So obviously I can't sit here and say every Bethesda game is exclusive, because we know that's not true. There's contractual obligations that we're gonna see through, as we always do in every one of these instances. We have games that exist on other platforms, and we're gonna go support those games um, on the platforms they're on. There's communities of players, we love those communities, and we'll continue to invest in them. And even in the future, there might be things that have either contractual things or legacy on different platforms that we'll go do. But if we're an Xbox customer, the thing I want you to know is this is about delivering great exclusive games for you that ship on platforms where Game Pass exists. And that's our goal, that's why we're doing this, that's the root of this partnership that we're building, uh, and the creative capability we will be able to bring to market for our Xbox customers is gonna be the best it's ever been for Xbox after we're done here. And that's what they say the Bethesda merger was all about. It's about exclusivity on platforms where Game Pass exists. Now, as for that case-by-case -case line, people are quick to run with. Phil Spencer highlighted the exact requirements for what this means. Games with contractual obligations like Deathloop or Ghostwire Tokyo hit that mark. Games that are ongoing on other platforms, these are the Fallout 76 and Elder Scrolls Online's of the world. Or even legacy titles which would include enhanced remasters like Quake or Skyrim. Games outside of those parameters will most likely be exclusives. Now the one thing to really define here is yes, The Elder Scrolls as a whole is a legendary franchise, but Elder Scrolls 6 will be a brand new game. Basically, if it's a brand new single player game, expect it to be an Xbox exclusive, but that can change any given day. Now, I've talked with people and they said this would be a huge mistake for Microsoft and Xbox because they would be excluding millions upon millions of players. I also feel it's factually right to counter that and bring up PlayStation who are the best at what they do when it comes to console exclusives. I don't see titles like God of War or The Last of Us coming to Xbox anytime soon. But this is why console makers value exclusives. Because those games don't drive money to the games alone. They drive money to the entire ecosystem for that respective console maker. Speaking to this bit personally, I bought the Switch for this exact reason. I wanted to play the next Pokemon game and Smash. Those were the two games I wanted. But then I seen games like Super Mario Odyssey and so on and so forth. I just kept buying in. But to kind of further back exclusivity for Elder Scrolls 6 here. I think the most recent and up-to-date example of how Xbox truly doesn't need PlayStation to survive is Starfield. And its newfound success on Xbox and PC alone. On its first day alone, it reached over 6 million players with that number I think being bumped up at least as of Thursday to 10 million. It was also reported on earlier this week that Starfield is the fifth fastest selling game across Europe in 2023, outpacing titles like Resident Evil 4 and Final Fantasy 16, which are two monster gaming IPs. And it's worth noting, these numbers are all units sold, which does not even begin to factor in Game Pass numbers which would make that milestone even greater. 
Basically, what I'm trying to get at here is between Xbox, PC, and Game Pass, there is a recipe for success here, and Microsoft might have just found it. And I'm saying this as an Xbox fan. I think for a very long while now, Xbox has needed more exclusives because churning out games like Halo, Gears, and Forza are all good and well. But it will only better the longevity of Xbox as a whole to expand their exclusive catalog like Sony and PlayStation have been doing since day one. Now, if you've made it this far, I just want to say I love video games. I think that's apparent by this channel's sheer existence, but I do go out and buy the latest console for each of the big console makers, and I even got a PC. But this time, I gotta take a firm stance in saying if you applaud PlayStation for exclusive games like Spider-Man and God of War, you should do the same with Xbox and their upcoming games as well. Competition in the gaming space will only breed better games for us as consumers. And this is yet another point I have been firm on as well. I want to see what everyone can do, because I think I speak for everyone when I say video games are just plain awesome. But with all that being said, I'm going to pass this question off to you guys. Is Xbox really in the wrong for making Elder Scrolls 6 an Xbox exclusive? If you couldn't gather it already... No, I don't think they're in the wrong here. But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown in all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video. And this has been the Weekend XP Share.